Hi, Mike here. Today is the day we are going to finish this project. So let's get started. Okay, we have all the wires laid out and ready to go. They just have to be connected. First, I have to disconnect the negative battery terminal so we don't get any shocking experiences. So I found a fuse that works here with the turn of the ignition key and I put a, my wire in there temporarily. <coughs> um, I may get a wire tap and use that instead but for now I'm just going to leave it like this just to see if everything works. Okay we got everything done. Just to recap we've reconnected the ground Oh, we got the solenoid here, oh, and we got a lawnmower too, so we're going to wait. Alright, the lawnmower is off. Okay, so we have the solenoid here, and it is going to ground. We also have the other wire, the fused 10 amp fuse going into the fuse box. We have one side of the solenoid going to the car battery, and it's fused and in the back. We have we have power coming in from the solenoid through the fuse to the battery and then we have the battery grounded right there so now all we have to do is see if this works we'll drive today and we'll come back and see if this has gone up any that's the easiest way for me to test right now. Okay, so I drove, oh, probably at least three or four miles. And when we started out, it read 12.8. And just a minute ago, I stopped and it was 13.1. It's now 13, so it does work. It is charging. So I would mark this project off as a success. If you liked it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.